previously in our last episode. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and their life is better than your And just ahead. OG Creations is filmed before a live studio audience of two cats. G here from OG Creations. Two words, time change. Why would we do that? I'm still not on routine. So because I'm a little off this week, I just want to do something very easy and make a bit of a mess. Okay, trying to turn me on by making a mess? I've always been a creative person. What the hell is the difference between a painting done by someone who chooses to paint like a child and a child's painting? <laughs> Art and music were always my favorite classes. I learned that I had another creative gene and quickly fell in love with and had to learn everything culinary. I'm seeing nuts. Get out of my fucking way. Fuck off! No matter what the medium is, I really am a medium! I need to surround myself with doing something artsy because I'm not truly happy unless I'm creating something. Be silent. Be still. In the early 2000s, one of my first professional jobs allowed me the opportunity to work closely with world-renowned glass artist Dale Chihuly. For those of you not familiar with Dale and his art, he is the artist that created the large outdoor glass exhibitions in Finland and Ireland. He also installed 14 large glass chandeliers around the canals of Venice. Okay, yeah. He is the artist that created the Fiori di Como glass ceiling at the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas, a large chandelier at the V&A Museum, and the outdoor exhibition at the Royal Botanical Gardens at Kew, just outside of London. Now being around that art every single day, this is awesome. Being able to purchase the art at an employee rate was even more awesome. I love shopping. <laughs> so this morning, when I was sitting on the floor playing with Ashan, having my morning coffee and trying to figure out what the hell I was gonna do for a video today. What are you gonna do? I looked up and saw one of my favorite purchases and it instantly became today's inspiration. I haven't reverse tie dyed using bleach gel in forever. <laughs> bleach gel is just simply toilet bowl cleaner. And the best part of using a clean gel is that you can create any design that you want to and it pretty much stays in that exact same pattern. Today, you're getting two shirts. One, I'm going to use swirly loops with the gel. Color TBD. The other, I'm going to fling that fucking gel every direction I possibly can and then the colors will come right out of my inspiration painting. This is going to be so much fun. Let's get started. I start with a slightly damp men's 100% cotton black t-shirt. Using bleach gel, I'm making swirly loops all over the shirt and I let it process for 15 minutes. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit the record button whenever I was doing the other shirt. Fucking idiot. But I did make sure to capture all the other stages. Once I'm happy with the bleach out, it's placed in a 10 to 1 peroxide to water solution for 20 minutes. Everything is rinsed under cold running water for 10 minutes before it is soaked in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes and then set aside for 24 to 48 hours until they're all practically dry. Starting with my loopy shirt, I cover them in lime pop liquid dye and they're set aside for one hour.
They are then topped with dye powders in lemon yellow, new emerald green, and moss, and then they're left to process for 48 hours. Following the same process for this reed shirt, it's covered in daffodil liquid dye, left for one hour, and then covered in deep yellow, orange crush, and fire red dye powders. It joins the other shirts for the 48 hour wait period. Separately, they are all rinsed in cold water, and then I slowly increase the temperature to hot to ensure that all residual soda ash has been removed. They are then separately ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. After being dried, ironed, and placed into inventory, they are added to my Etsy store ready to purchase. You can purchase these and similar items by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com. Final results, the green ones are okay. I love me some good camo, but this really wasn't what I was going for, so I'll have to play with that one a little bit. The reeds, I love. It looks exactly like my painting. I guess I could call this one Gel Chihuly. Number one discovery while I was testing these items. Use a dry shirt when using your bleach gel. If you want it a little bit more muted or blurred, have your shirt just slightly damp, just damp to the touch. But if you want really fine, clear cut lines, make sure your shirt is dry. Thank you so much for watching the video today. If you have any questions or just want to leave a comment, make sure to do so in the section below. I love responding to everyone and it really does help with the algorithm for new viewers to find my channel. So please comment away and tell all your friends to start watching the videos because I put a lot of time and energy into them. Seriously, I've worked on two videos in the last 72 hours, nonstop, no sleep, and I'm exhausted. Thank God for English breakfast tea and a shit ton of coffee.